In this video for Positive Maths, we're looking at the Junior Cert Higher Level 2014 sample paper. This is question 9 from paper 1. Bill and Jenny are two athletes running in the same direction at steady speeds on a racetrack. Tina is standing beside the track. At a particular time, Bill has gone 7 metres beyond Tina and his speed is 2 metres per second. At the same instant, Jenny has gone 2 metres beyond Tina and her speed is 3 metres per second. Complete the table below to show the distance between the two runners and Tina over the next 10 seconds. So you can see that I've underlined some of the key pieces of information. Now we're going to look at the first column for Bill and we're going to fill in the details. So at an instant he's 7 metres beyond Tina. After one second he's 9 metres beyond because he's travelling 2 metres per second. So therefore we're going to add 2. So 9, 11, 13 metres, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25 and 27. Now we're going to do the same for Jenny. So at an instant she's 2 metres beyond Tina. She is travelling 3 metres per second so we're going to add 3. So 2 plus 3 gives us 5, plus 3 gives us 8, so we continue on. We have 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29 and 32. Part 2. On the grid below, draw graphs for the distance between Bill and Tina and the distance between Jenny and Tina over the 10 seconds. Okay, so we'll start off with Bill and Tina. So at 0 seconds he's 7 metres beyond. So we need to be careful because the numbers that are on the y-axis are going up in units of 4. So halfway in between is going to be 6, so then halfway between 6 and 8 is going to be our 7. So we'll put our dot here. So then we have 9. It's going to be about here. 2 seconds is 11 metres. It's going to be between 10 and 12. The next one, a 3 is 13. And so on. Now we draw the graph for Jenny. So it's, we're starting at 2 for 0 seconds. After 1 second she's 5 metres away from Tina. After 2 seconds she's 8 away. And so on. So what we want to notice is that we have two straight lines because they're travelling at steady speed, so their speed is not changing. Question 3. After how many seconds will both runners be the same distance from Tina? So both runners are at the same distance away when they're crossing over here. And we can also see that on the table. They are both 17 metres away at 5 seconds. Question 4. After 9 seconds, which runner is furthest from Tina and what is the distance between the runners? So after 9 seconds, Jenny is 29 metres away. So again, we can double check this on the table. So the furthest from Tina is Jenny. And they want us to find the distance between the runners. So Bill is 25 metres away. Jenny is 29 metres away. So there's 4 metres in between the runners. Part 5. Write down a formula 
to represent the distance between Bill and Tina for any given time. State clearly the meaning of any letters used in your formula. So we need a formula to represent the distance between Bill and Tina for any given time. And then we need to write down the meaning of any of the letters. So again, I'm just underlining key pieces of information so I don't forget them. Okay, if we need a formula to represent the distance between Bill and Tina, we're going to let D be equal to the distance and T be equal to time. So what we need to do is look at the first two columns of our table on the left. We need to find out what is the relationship between the time and the distance Bill is away from Tina. So I'm going to write out this table again. So when we're building a formula, the first thing that we'll look at is 0 and 7. So we want to think, what do we do to 0 to change it from 0 to 7? So if we think about it, we have 7 is equal to 0 plus 7. So let's write this as a formula. Instead of 7, we're going to write D. So the distance is equal to the time plus 7. So now let's check this formula for the next one. We have 1 and 9. We want to check it. So is 9 equal to 1 plus 7? So the answer is no, it's not. So we must think, what can we do to change our first idea so that it works for our second idea. So what we could do is this. Multiply 2 by the time. Because 7 is equal to 2 multiplied by 0, we're still going to get 0 plus 7. So let's see if it works now for this. So we're multiplying t by 2 and adding 7. So now that we've changed that, it is correct. So 9 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 7, because that's just 2 plus 7. So now that we have a new formula, let's check it with some of the others. So our next one, the distance is 11, so I'm just going to write it out again. D is equal to 2t plus 7. D for our next line is 11 t is equal to 2. So 11 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 7. So 11 is equal to 4 plus 7. So therefore it's true for that one. If we try our next one, 13 and 3, we want to check is 13 equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 7. So again it does hold true. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. So our formula is D is equal to 2T plus 7. Question 6. Write down a formula to represent the distance between Jenny and Tina for any given time. So again, I'm just going to identify the columns that we're using. So we're using time and distance, but this time it's for Jenny. This time we're going to take a different approach. What we want to recall is our distance, speed, and time triangle. So we use this when we're looking for distance, speed, and time. So what I want to note is that the distance is equal to the speed multiplied by time. So in relation to Jenny, we know she starts 2 meters beyond Tina, and she's traveling 3 meters per second. So therefore, the distance that she travels is equal to her speed multiplied by time. But we must remember at the start, she's 2 meters away from Tina, so we have to add on 2. So our formula is going to be distance is equal to 3t plus 2. So let's check it. The first one, we want to show that 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by the time, so 0 plus 2. So that is true. 2 is equal to 3 by 0 is just going to give us 0, plus 2 will give us 2. Let's try another one. What about when the distance is 14? 
So we fill in 14 for D. And when we fill in 14 for D, we have to fill in 4 for T. So we want to check the 3 multiplied by 4 plus 2 is equal to 14. And it is. So we know that our formula holds true for any value of T. So let's go back to part 5 and look at the formula that we got for Bill's distance. We had distance is equal to 2t plus 7. So if we compare that to the one we just had, it's the same thing. The distance is equal to his speed multiplied by time, because distance is speed by time, but he starts 7 meters away from Tina, so we have to add 7. So his distance is 2 meters per second. So distance is equal to 2t plus 7. Part 7. Use your formulas from part 5 and part 6 to verify the answer that you gave to part 3 above. So if we just look at the top right corner, we want to note that when we did part 3, we found that t was equal to 5. So they asked us, at what time are both runners the same distance from Tina? So again, we can get this from the table or from the graph. If we look at the table, it's when the distances are equal, so they're both 17 meters away from Tina. And if we look at the graph, it's the point where the two lines intersect. So that's really important. We now want to use our formulas to show that they are the same distance away from Tina when t is equal to 5. So what we need to recall here is that if we're looking for a point of intersection of two lines, then we need to solve these two equations simultaneously. Okay, so that's one way we can do it. So I'm going to rearrange the formula a little bit so we can solve them simultaneously. Again, we want to show that t is equal to 5. So d minus 2t is equal to 7. And d minus 3t is equal to 2. So what I want to do is cancel my d's so I can find t first. And again, we want t to be equal to 5. So I'm going to multiply the top line by minus 1. So now I'll have minus d plus 2t is equal to minus 7. And the bottom line will stay the same. So plus d minus d is just going to give me 0. 2t minus 3t is going to give me minus t. Minus 7 plus 2 is going to give me minus 5. And then the next line, when I multiply both sides by minus 1, we'll find that t is equal to 5. So we have shown that when they intersect, t is equal to 5. Another way that we could do this is by letting the two equations be equal to each other. So what we're saying is that when the distances are the same, t should be equal to 5. So therefore, we can let formula 1 be equal to formula 2. So 2t plus 7 is equal to 3t plus 2. And when we solve this equation, we should again find that t is equal to 5. So 2t minus 3t is equal to 2 minus 7. So minus t is equal to minus 5. So again, t is equal to 5. So two different ways we could show that our answer to part 3 is correct. Part 8. After one minute, Jenny stops suddenly. From the time she stops, how long will it be until Ben is again level with her? Okay, so the first thing that I've underlined there is how long. That means we are looking for time. So let's draw a little sketch to help us with this. If we imagine Jenny is traveling along. We know that she's going faster than Bill, so she's ahead of Bill anywhere after five seconds. So she's traveling along and she stops suddenly. If we imagine Bill traveling behind her. Okay, when she stops, he's, let's say he's here. So then we have to figure out how long it's going to take for him to catch up to her. So we need to figure out how many seconds are in between the point that he's at when she stops and the point where she is stopped. So 
the distance between or the time between A and B. So if we need to calculate the time, we want to remember the time is equal to distance divided by speed. So we need to calculate the distance in between A and B and then we can calculate how long it will take him. So the first thing we have to do is calculate where both of them are after one minute. So we're remembering that one minute is 60 seconds. So let's calculate Bill's distance after 60 seconds. So his distance is equal to 2 multiplied by 60 plus 7. So after a minute, he's at 127 meters. Now let's do the same for Jenny. So her distance after a minute is going to be 3 multiplied by 60 plus 2. So that's going to be 182 meters. So now we can calculate the distance between A and B. So our distance is going to be 182 minus 127. So our answer is 55 meters. Now again, we're not looking for the distance between them when she stops. We're looking for the time it's going to take for him to catch up. So it's going to take him t is equal to distance, so 55, divided by the speed that he's traveling. So we know that he's traveling at 2 meters per second. So it's going to take him 27.5 seconds to catch up. We must remember as well for all of these answers, if they're looking for time, we have to give it in seconds, and if they're looking for distance, we have to give it in meters. So don't forget to use your units in your answer. Question 9. If Jenny had not stopped, how long in total would it be until the runners are 100 meters apart? For this question, we're going to let Bill's distance be D1. So we'll say D1 is equal to 2T plus 7. And for Jenny, we'll let her distance be D2. So that's 3T plus 2. So let's read our question again. If Jenny had not stopped, how long in total would it be until the runners are 100 metres apart? So if I reword this, what we really need to do is find t when the difference between d2 and d1 is equal to 100 meters. So find t when d2 minus d1 is equal to 100 meters. So let's write that out. 3t plus 2, so Jenny's distance minus Bill's distance. So 2t plus 7 is equal to 100. Now it's just an equation and I solve for t. So 3t plus 2 minus 2t minus 7 is equal to 100. 3t minus 2t gives us 1t. 2 minus 7 gives us 5 minus 5. So t is equal to 105 seconds. So let's check and see if our answer is correct. Let's fill in 105 for T for Bill and see what distance he's at. Let's fill in 105 for T for Jenny and see what distance she's at. And the difference between the distances should be 100 meters. So our first one, D1 for Bill. 2 multiplied by 105 plus 7. This is going to give us 217 meters. And the same now for Jenny. D2, 3 multiplied by 105 plus 2. This is going to give us 317 meters. So we'll notice when t is equal to 105 seconds, then the distance between Jenny and Bill is 100 meters. For more information, visit positivemaths.ie 
email us at info at positivemaths.ie and follow